you want to know a technique so that you can bring lots and lots of traffic on your google business profile yes guys in this video we'll be discussing it via google search console with the help of gbgm app and the gbp site which you must be knowing that you can create a website from gbgm app for your business if your business is small and you don't want to create a large website which is difficult to maintain update as well as there are lots lots of cost involved in that like hosting cost etc then gbgm app provides you an option to create a website which is self updatable self maintainable through your google business profile and you can bring lots and lots of traffic using this site to your google business profile once you get good amount of traffic with the relevant keywords then definitely you can rank all those keywords and get more leads and more sales so we'll be discussing in this video so let's dive in so guys if you have not used this tool gpgm then this is the web version of the tool on local seo tools and tips.com and you can also go to google play store and download its app with the name gbpgm or whatever you search you can even search google business profile google business profile manager you'll find the same app there guys so that is a very cost effective tool and it has a free version as well but for this today's website you need a domain and a premium plan of this app that is an individual plan if you have a single location you want to create a single website and if you have multiple locations then enc plan will be more cost effective for you no other plan will work ad free plan is just without ads and it doesn't provide you any much features so don't go go about buying an ads free plan guys so guys i'll not discuss how to log into this app because it can be done via your gmail id which has your google business profile just via its google auth and whatever permissions we take in google auth are not at all saved at our end it's taken by google and we just save the gmail id that's all we cannot access or do anything to your gmail or google business profile as we have only limited permissions google need this permission so that it can actually share the data to this app of google business profile which they do in a run time we don't save that as well so guys you just click on get started and once you are in this application you have to go to tools then tools then you have to click on gbp site guys once you click on gp site this is how a site can be created if you want to see the video how this premium site can be created you will see a link of the video in the description section or you must be seeing it in the i button above guys and i have already connected it and it's a premium website i'll show you this is a site made through this particular application and a subdomain is provided in this as you can see here and same site i have just connected with a custom domain as you can see here both are same guys and it's created with this only and this is the same domain name as you can see here guys now you have to just jump into google search console and tracking codes option and here you have to put this code where to get this code and why to do this we'll be discussing just now and the code will look similar to as you can see here in watermark and after that you have to submit your site map so we'll just see how to do this for that you have to go to google.com and search google search console once you do that in the next option you'll find sign into google search console and you will sign in with your gmail id that gmail id through which you want to connect it it can be any gmail id it doesn't matter as much guys and you can even connect to multiple gmail ids so guys here what you have to do you have to add your custom domain here you can just select it and paste it here or you can type it as well then you click on continue and it will start checking whether this domain exists or not if it exists then it will provide you with a code that we have to input i told you guys earlier we have to find where that code is 
you have to click on HTML tag and this is the code guys as you can just compare it is similar to what we have mentioned here you have to just copy it guys and you have to paste it here once you paste it and then save it don't forget to save it then just wait for a few seconds or you can just once refresh your website it, it's open on your browser or wait for a few seconds guys then come again here and as you can see in this blog there is a verify button when you copy this code don't close this at all guys even if you by mistake close it then not a problem you can just reopen it again you will click on verify guys and we will see if it doesn't verify it might not be updated but it's done guys it's ownership verified and now it's asking to go to the property so once we go to the property you will see nothing here here it's showing some stats because i submitted it earlier on other gmail profiles as well this is what i am doing it again to just show you guys now guys you have to go to site map now guys you have to click on the site map option and now you have to add a site map you will get a site map from here guys click on this view site map option and from here just pick this file name after the slash not the complete url because the url is already mentioned here you have to paste it guys and submit it and guys it's done it's discovered 359 pages you must be thinking how 359 pages for such a small website guys this website in premium version uh, consists of approximate to five pages the main website main page because it's a single page website mandatory pages to toc and uh, privacy policy and two pages of blogs like i'll show you just now so these blogs are nothing but the post as you can see here this is a blog post option and when you click it guys you will see all those posts which you add as updates in your google business profile the image some text and some call to action so these are all the posts you can see here directly fetching from the google server it's not saved at all guys when you click it here guys you a uh, separate page is open and here it acts like a separate blog post this single post acts like a separate blog post and you can see this url also and these are all the pages which it has actually taken from the site map and it's showing 359 pages and this is how you can grow your traffic because once anyone uh, go comes to your page like this particular page starts ranking due to its slug due to its content then anyone clicks on this they will just reach to your google business profile and whatever keyword they have started searching with and uh, just came across your url of that blog and came to your uh, profile that keyword will start gaining ranks and search results and definitely it will start growing traffic on your google business profile so you can get tons and tons of traffic depending on how much you are submitting how fast you are submitting the content how frequently you are submitting the content on google business profile now i'll show you where this content you can post in this app here you have to go to this post option people call it updates as well and in this you have to just add some image that you can create via canva or any other designing tool very easily write some comment about it if you don't want to write then also you can use ai you can describe that image or whatever you have created in few words and it will generate it for you then guys you have to come and add this blog post slug it's not mandatory but if you are creating a website then it should be created because it will help you get the traffic and you can create it by ai as well it will just read this text and create it for you then you have to select some call to action and either you can post it or schedule it so guys as we have seen how to create a post with a slug now you must be thinking that if you have already created a lot of posts and how to edit slug on those posts so that they start acting like a blog then you have to just come to this uh, uh, tools and you have to go to this gbp side option then guys in additional settings you will find all your blog post on what you have to do is guys either you can click here and add a slug by yourself keeping separating the words with a hyphen else you can just click on this ai button according to the post content it will again click 
created for you and it will be saved too guys you can click on save as well to save it and this is this way you can add slug for all your existing posts and it will start fetching you lots and lots of traffic so guys this was how you can actually use your google business profile post and the gbp site we are providing via it to actually rank your google business profile bring traffic to your website and get lots and lots of leads and sales so guys if you have any confusion you can always comment and we'll be there with the next video till then keep learning keep growing